What is up beautiful creatures? Today is going to be a pretty short video because there isn't much storyline to the I want to play a game. Um, this is the reveal video. The video was pretty simple. When you clicked on it, it was the Jigsaw doll. And um, he said he, you know, welcome, I want to play a game. And then I did a pretty impressive John, if I do say so myself. And he said that if you could solve it within an hour, that you would get double the prize, which is super exciting. And it was um, solved within an hour with like a minute shy of an hour. It was so impressive by Brittany McPhee. Um, so huge shout out to her because she killed it. Um, so basically you are put in a room and you have to solve the phone's password to stop the second box from being incinerated. So when you look at the wall one, and in this puzzle, you are able to look at all components before, you know, not having to solve a puzzle as you went. So your first wall says mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And I mean, this should have been the simplest one because we obviously know that hashtag I am better. That is a hashtag I am better reference because the answer is Moa, Morgan. Morgan would have gotten you past that wall. So we would have typed that in. I think I'm actually on the thing and I don't feel like typing it in. So we will go to wall number two. <clears throat> When you solved that wall and you, when you solved all of the walls or the lock boxes, you were given clues. You were given a dice. Um, and then on that one, you were given a Waldo's face with number three. And that alludes to a clue to solve number three. Um, if I was playing this game, I would have instantly jumped over to the third wall to kind of see what's going on there. Um, basically Waldo alluded to you that these answers are kind of based on the other puzzles. So we go to wall number two and it has this extremely mad, um, letter to a critic from a mother. And when you read it, she, you know, kind of hints around to her daughter being an actress. She even says down here, let her act or I will sue for slander. Um, with no love at all, Mary Caribbean. This answer is a Ruba. That is the um, Facebook page that you found in the very first puzzle called Genesis. Um, the answer was let Aruba act and you found that Facebook page. So I named her daughter Aruba. Once you solved that puzzle, you would get another dice. Go to number three where we got the Waldo clue. That will bring us to this mess of a poster. It is looks so incredibly confusing, but I promise it is not. The Waldo lets you know that these can be solved by knowing the answers to the Waldo puzzle. So door minus three is actually the answer to John's door in the puzzle, which is 41, minus, not three, 13 is 28. You go to part two, another answer is John's zodiac sign which you get Taurus in the Waldo puzzle. Three is the final code. The final code was um, the answer to the safe, the last answer, and it was 2002. So you have um, the answer is 2804 2002 and when you solved that you would get a another dice which will come in handy later. Wall number four, now this one was a little more out of the box thinking, this references Anahata's puzzle. And if you watch the reveal video, you find out that the coordinates that took you to Glastonbury is, um, Glastonbury is a highly charged area that they actually have named the heart chakra of the world. So when you put in these coordinates as your clue, it brings you up to a spot that you would have to know to find out what chakra that spot was, which it was the crown chakra, and then what color the crown chakra is, which is violet. So the question is, what did the actress wear on her head during the film and what color was it? The answer is crown violet. It is a little more of a complicated one. I was kind of proud of myself on that one, but 
y'all got it. And then once you've done that, you've got your dice as a clue, and you move on to the lock box. When we solve the lock box, we get two clues. And I've seen this puzzle. I took this puzzle and made it kind of into my own. But basically what it's saying is you take the first half of solution one, you take the last letter of solution three, the first letter or number of solution four, and the last letter or number of solution two. And you end up getting M-O-R two C A, and that is the answer to that one. When you open the lockbox, it gives you not only a dice, but the other half of your ripped piece of paper in your video. If you didn't watch the video, then you kind of missed some clues there because you have your numbered Rubik's Cube and your piece of paper. So we go to look at the phone because we have made it all the way through. We've got our dice, and here is the phone's password. It brings you to some gems. This is how you solve the phone's puzzle. Wall number one, all the way through the lockbox, you would put those dice in the order that you receive them while going through the puzzle. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The dice, let's, on wall number one, you got dice one. You would go to the Rubik's Cube and find what color on the Rubik's Cube is one. So you would be like, okay, dice number one is red on the Rubik's Cube, so dice number one represents red. And you'd go down the next line, like number four. Okay, number four represents orange. So you take that information and you bring it here. So now you know that dice number one is red, so your first number is going to be three, because there's three reds. Dice. It's kind of like you're replacing what the dice mean. The dice is a number one. Now the dice means red. Once we look at the Rubik's Cube, now the dice means three because there are three reds. So you have dice one through five. Now the numbers on the two pieces of paper tell you what order to put them in. The first number is two. So you would look at the second dice, what color it was, how many of that color, and that number goes first. The next number is like one. You look at the first dice, what color it was, how many colors there is, that's your second number. And you would go through that whole sequence until you got your really long number that I cannot remember. So I will show you guys. This one almost kind of confuses me to explain it. So I was really impressed that someone got it because, oh, I'm on the thing. I can't actually show you but it's like a 10 digit number. And that would lead you to the final thing that you had to email me with the right word, which was too simple of a word. I might need to change that. And that's y'all's puzzle. Guys, I tried to make it pretty difficult, but yet fun. Um, this one didn't have a lot of storyline, but the jigsaw might be popping in here and there just as this purpose, as a, here's some puzzles. I wanted to try to make it a little difficult win some extra money type style. That might be his purpose. I don't know. So I love y'all. Y'all did amazing. Another huge shout out to our winner, Brittany McPhee. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I will see y'all Wednesday. Peace.